What do we get when we divide the circumference of this coin by its diameter? What about this wheel circumference and diameter? Or this stadium? Or the earth? We call that the circumference of a circle is the length of the edge or boundary of a circle. In other words, it is the perimeter of a circle. Coming back to the question, whenever we divide the circumference of a circle by its diameter, we get the same value every time. Can you recall what this value is? It is pi. Remember that pi is an irrational number. This means that it is a non-terminating and non-recurring decimal number. The digits after the decimal keep going on and on and on. That is why it is non-terminating. And since there is no repeating pattern in the sequence of digits, it is also non-recurring. As it is not possible to write down all the digits in pi, whenever we have to write pi, we simply use the Greek symbol pi. In calculations, we can't use an endless value. So we use approximate values of pi such as 3.14 or 22 divided by 7. So now we have learned that the circumference divided by the diameter of a circle is always equal to pi. Let's connect this with something we already know. We know that the circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r, where r is the radius. We also know that the diameter is equal to 2 times the radius r. So if we clump the 2 and the r together in the first equation, we get circumference is equal to pi d. Now if we take d to the other side and divide it, we get c over d is equal to pi. This confirms what we have learned today with knowledge that we already had. Time for an exercise. Given the following circles, can you find out what values we get when we divide their circumferences with their diameters? First, we write down the circumference of each circle. Then we identify the diameter of each circle. Note that in circle C, the radius is given. To get the diameter, we use the formula D is equal to 2R. After dividing the circumferences with the diameters of the circles, we see that all circles give approximately the same value, which is pi. Let's summarize. When we divide the circumference of a circle by its diameter, we get pi. The ratio of the circumference to the diameter will always be equal to pi for any circle, no matter what its size. This is true for a coin, a tire, or even the outline of a planet. Pi is a non-terminating and non-recurring decimal number. It is written as pi or by its approximate values 3.14 and 22 divided by 7.